second subhead under profitability ratio is operating ratio that is to analyze the operations of the firm and for that the formula is operating cost profitability ratios for every profitability ratio the denominator is net sales or revenue from operations so operating cost divided by net sales into 100 it must be expressed in percentage now operating cost will be equal to that's the cost element you have to consider so cost of goods sold plus operating expenses cost of goods sold plus operating expenses okay now cost of goods sold formula we have studied already net sales minus gp or you have to do opening inventory plus uh, sorry plus net purchase plus direct expense minus closing inventory then operating expenses means expenses which are related to your operations expenses which are related to your operations though it can be indirectly also so mainly it is indirect expense which is related to your operations like office expenses administrative expenses so basically it is indirect expense but it is related to your operations office expense administrative expense selling expense selling and distribution expense then amortization selling and distribution expense then depreciation and amortization expenses amortization means decrease in value of intangible the terms are familiar okay so this is operating expense all those expenses which are related to your operations but it can be indirectly related all these are indirect expense which you can find in your p and l so operating expense means something you can find on the debit side of p and l account not in trading account so this is your operating expense so what we have to do here is operating ratio which is equal to operating cost by net sales into 100 operating cost is equal to two items are there cost of goods sold plus operating expenses and all these will come under operating expenses we'll work out illustration 108 where we have revenue from operations that is your net sales then rate of gross profit on cost is given selling expenses and administrative expense selling expense and administrative expense just now we discussed that is your operating expenses so we have operating ratio is equal to operating cost divided by net sales into 100 operating cost by net sales into 100 and operating cost is not directly given we have revenue from operations we have gross profit so we have to compute the cost of goods sold from the given information okay so this is the expansion of operating cost now cost of goods sold formula we have net sales minus you have to apply all these net sales minus gross profit it's not directly given and now net sales is given as 6 lakh 80000 minus gross profit is given on cost on cost means that must be assumed as x and it is 25 percentage on cost so don't compute on 6 lakh 80 it must be on cost so the calculation will be is equal to 6 lakh 80000 now your cost of goods sold will be equal to 5 lakh 44000 okay so we got cost of goods sold now we need one more item that is your operating expenses which is equal to we already wrote the formula here operating expense will include office expense administrative selling distribution depreciation and amortization expenses here we have only selling and administrative expense so that is 1 lakh 44000 plus 73000 so that comes to 2 lakh 17000 and now you can apply the formula operating ratio is equal to the cost of goods sold plus operating expenses divided by net sales which is directly given in the question 6 lakh 
80,000 into 100. So this will be equal to, you will be getting points that is 111.91 or you can write 112 percentage. Both are correct. You can round it off to the next digit. Next we'll work out illustration 110 where we have operating cost, operating expense, gross profit ratio. Gross profit ratio here, nothing is mentioned like whether it is on cost or on sales. Then you can assume it as on sales because profit will be normally on sales. Calculate operating ratio. So again, operating ratio is equal to operating cost by net sales into 100 and operating cost is equal to cost of goods sold plus operating expenses. Do we have cost of goods sold in the question? Again, it's not directly given. Okay, operating cost is directly given. This part is directly given. 6,80,000. Then we need net sales. Net sales is missing in the question. Okay, for that we will have to apply COGS formula where we have net sales. So, cost of goods sold will be equal to net sales minus gross profit. And gross profit is given as 25 percentage on sales. Sales we will have to take as X minus gross profit is 25 percentage on nothing is mentioned you compute on sales so 25 percentage on x but in this question cost of goods sold is not given we have operating cost that is 6 lakh 80 thousand so and that is the sum total of cost of goods sold plus operating expense this part we need now so cost of goods sold plus operating expenses here it is given directly 80 thousand now cost of goods sold will be equal to you just have to take it to the opposite side so cost of goods sold will be equal to rupees 6 lakhs so we got cost of goods sold as 6 lakhs now we can compute the value of net sales from this 6 lakhs will be equal to 100 minus 25 that is 75 x by 100 so x is equal to 6 lakhs into 100 by 75 just take the reciprocal so into 100 by 75 this is net sales figure so that will be equal to rupees that is rupees 8 lakhs so net sales is rupees 8 lakhs we have to compute the ratio finally operating ratio is equal to operating cost was directly given 6 lakh 80 thousand now we got the net sales 8 lakhs into 100 so you have to write the main formula first then see the items given in the question accordingly you have to compute so that comes to around 85 percentage the third subhead under profitability ratio is operating Profit ratio. The second one was, don't get confused between these two. The second one is operating ratio. This is operating profit ratio. One is analyzing the cost element. Here it is analyzing the profit element. Okay, before going into the formula, just see the P and L format that you learned in 11th standard. You have all expenses here on the debit side and you have all incomes here on the credit side. And we know that P and L would be started with the gross profit gross profit which we are taking from trading and if you add all incomes less all expenses finally you will get something called as net profit add all income less all expense the answer is net profit with gross profit while you do now in between gross profit and net profit there is something called as operating profit which we haven't discussed that is what we need in this ratio okay so there is something called as operating profit how will you get operating profit with gross profit you have to add incomes but just take operating incomes and then you have to less expense but just take 
operating expense we saw the examples of operating expense then what can be non operating which is not related to your operations but it is an expense for you like loss on sale of fixed assets or the interest you have to pay or the dividend you have to pay all these are expense but not related to your operation so that is called non operating expenses similarly what can be non operating incomes gain on sale of fixed asset the interest you received the dividend you received all these are non operating incomes so what are we discussing now how to get the operating profit what's the formula it is from this p until you have to derive from the formula derive the formula that is gross profit plus operating incomes minus operating expense what you get is operating profit then how will you get how will you get the next item that is uh, net profit with operating profit you have to add all non operating incomes less all non operating expense that is all non operating incomes will be here say last year we didn't categorize it as operating and non operating so now we have to do like this just to derive the operating profit formula so don't get confused what we are doing is operating profit with that you have to add all non operating items just add back non operating incomes less non operating expense finally your answer will be net profit so in between gross profit and net profit there is something called as operating profit with gross profit add add operating income less operating expense what you get is operating profit with operating profit you add all non operating incomes less all non operating expense what you get is net profit so add basically what we are doing is adding all incomes deducting all expense we'll get the profit okay now moving into this formula operating profit ratio that is operating profit by net sales into 100 and we saw how to get the operating profit if gross profit is given in the question operating profit will be equal to gross profit plus operating incomes minus operating expense just take operating items if you add all incomes and less all expenses finally what we get will be net profit the final answer will be net profit if you just take operating incomes and less operating expense the answer will be operating profit we'll work out illustration 115 we have operating cost gross profit ratio operating expense calculate operating profit ratio and the formula is operating profit by net sales into 100 this thing actually we derived from the piantel account okay operating profit by net sales into 100 we have um we'll work out illustration 113 okay where we have net sales cost of goods sold so directly you can take gross profit from that then wages office administrative selling expense interest on loan it is an expense but it is non operating then income which you received from investment that i discussed that's the interest you received that is your non operating incomes then loss by theft is given that is again an expense but it is non operating okay so we have to get operating profit and net sales net sales is given 47 lakh 99600 that's directly given we have to get the operating profit and operating profit formula is this gross profit add all operating incomes less all operating expense but this gross profit the starting item itself is missing in the question so we have to compute the gross profit first and we have this formula cost of goods sold everywhere you are using the same thing net sales minus gross profit and cost of goods sold is directly given 24 lakh 40200 the figures are lengthy here net sales is equal to 47 lakh 99000 do calculations carefully minus what we need is gross profit 
so taking this to the opposite side okay gross profit will be now equal to 23 lakh 59 400 so we got gross profit we have to get the operating profit so add all non operating incomes sorry operating incomes here do we have any operating income income from investment is not related to your operation investment is not your operation your operation is buying and selling of goods so income from investment is non operating income so you must know the difference between operating and non operating items so gross profit we don't have any operating income so you just deduct operating expense here wages is given salary sorry not salary office and administrative expenses given then selling and distribution expenses is also given so among these items there are two operating expense one is your office and administrative expense and the other one is selling and distribution expense loss by theft interest on loan both are non operating that we discussed so these two are operating expense which you have to direct and there is something called as wages also but wages is something that comes in your trading account when you computed this gross profit already wages have been included again don't go and add that amount wages is something that comes in your trading so already wages amount have been adjusted in this figure in this gross profit again no need to take you just have to deduct these operating office administration and selling and distribution now your operating profit will be equal to 16 lakh 57 thousand 800 so that is your operating profit finally the ratio will be 16 lakh 57 800 divided by the net sales directly given in the question into 100 so that is equal to 34.54 again you are getting decimal point 34.54 